Hello, Prudential Sales Executives, for our video message of the week. All right, this week's message is entitled Listings, Listings, and More Listings. All right, I need a favor from everyone. I want you to listen to this message this week with an open mind, regardless if you have a small listing inventory or you have no listing inventory. I really want you to listen with an open mind. All right, let's get started. First of all, what does listings do for you? Well, one, they send a visible message that you're open for business. People can drive around and see your sign. That's really powerful. Now, on that sign, you also will have information to generate additional business. Maybe it's a name writer, specifically where someone can text information and get information on that house. Maybe it's more information from a writer that you want to personally send. Number one, you're open for business. Let me give you an analogy. What if you walked into a 7-Eleven and there was nothing on the shelves? Nothing at all. That would seem kind of strange to you. I know it would to me. Well, you don't want your business to be viewed in that way uh, as well. You've got to be open for business, and one of those is the visual listings okay, that show uh, in the marketplace. Next, uh, um, taking a listing helps create presence for you individually in the marketplace, and that's powerful. I mean, part of what we do is getting our names out there, all right? So that's a powerful way to do that. What else does it do for you? Well, think about this. If you have listings out there and people want information on properties, it gives you the opportunity to create more buyer calls, right? Now think about that. On a constant basis, the more listings you would take, the more purchasers are going to contact you and want information. When you really think about how you can expand your business, it's a powerful way to do that. Now, what else next? Taking listings helps market and advertise you to the marketplace on an ongoing basis. You're not only doing it from the signs in the yard, but you're utilizing the, that inventory to advertise in other ways throughout the market where people, seeing, people would be seeing your face and your inventory, your homes that you're marketing on an ongoing basis. Again, another opportunity to drive business. How do you like this one, this next one? Having inventory gives you the ability to guarantee your annual income. That's right, I use that word, guarantee your income. What do I mean? Well, if you know I'm going to take, my goal is this year, I'm going to take 25 listings. You can use the statistics in your branch to figure backwards of exactly what 25 listings will bring to your bottom line. That is powerful. Think about that. Prior to starting the year or prior to starting a quarter, if you just commit to those numbers and look at how many will sell percentage-wise and your management team can help you with those types of stats, you can tell yourself, oh my God, if I just take X amount of listings, I will make X amount of dollars. Powerful. Next, when you take listings, this is a beautiful one too, all the other agents in the marketplace work for you. When they're out showing their buyers your properties, regardless of what you're doing, you might be showing other purchasers, taking more listings. You may be on vacation, laying on the beach, and guess what? All the other agents in the marketplace, because you have inventory, are working for you and showing the properties that you're marketing for sale. That is a powerful, powerful opportunity. Now, a little stat for you to have is a good rule of thumb should be that 60% of your income should come from listings sold, 60%. 40% of your income, as a rule of thumb, should come from buyers. The key with that is, is you want to grow both those segments upwards, of course, to increase your income. But just to give you that rule of thumb, 60% from listings sold, 40% from buyers. And last tip today on listings is when you have a listing inventory, okay, and the larger that listing inventory is, you always have an opportunity to earn. Regardless of what else is going on, you have that inventory there that you can not only earn on an ongoing basis, but again, you continue getting purchasers in. One last message on this. Remember, if you see yourself as a buyer's agent, let's say you see yourself as, you know what, 
I see myself as a strictly a buyer's agent. What a phenomenal opportunity for you to support to take some listing inventory. Don't worry about be the number one lister, okay, in your branch or your company, but have a, a fair amount of inventory on an ongoing basis because you're already comfortable working with buyers. And think about that. You've got the listings and you're doing the best thing you can for that seller because you're super comfortable in attracting buyers and working with buyers. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.